Okay, and lastly is kind of following up on the last one, and this is avoid complacency. Don't get to a point in your career where because someone else is taking care of it or maybe more of an expert than you are, that you fail to continue to educate yourself on it. And my example for this is ventilators. I feel like as critical care providers, we should have a darn good understanding about what a ventilator does, what the waveforms mean, the interaction between the machine and the patient. Like, it takes a lot of time to learn that. Don't get complacent because somebody else is looking at those numbers and that you maybe are uncomfortable interpreting them, that it's okay. You need to understand what you're doing. If you guys want help, if you are new to ICU and you need some help with that transition, particularly bridging the knowledge gap, do go check out my website at breenp.com. I'm starting a monthly membership program where I'm gonna offer lectures live twice a month. They're already five or six people signed up for this. So there's a community of people. You can ask questions in a safe space. You're gonna get uh, free PDF references created for each